Hey guys, what's going on? It's up here. I've recently found something pretty interesting for anybody who's wanted to add a VHS effect to their footage. Online, I have seen that most VHS effects are either paid or use an overlay that doesn't look very convincing, but I've come across a free software that also comes as a plugin for DaVinci, After Effects, and by itself as a standalone software. So if you've ever wanted to add that messy, nostalgic VHS look, stick around and I'm going to show you how to do it. To download it, head over to the NTSC GitHub page. You'll see a bunch of different options to download when you scroll down, click one that matches your operating system, which would be either Windows or Mac. For this section, I will be showing the full installation process for DaVinci Resolve 18. If you're looking for the After Effects version or the standalone download, I will go over that later in the video. My operating system is Windows 10 and I want to download it for DaVinci Resolve, so I will click this option. If you're looking for an installation tutorial for Mac, I will have one in the description down below, so go check it out if you need it. Once you've downloaded the version you need, we will need to move it to the correct folder in the correct file location. So open up the downloaded zip folder and copy this non-zip folder and then head to this file location on screen now and paste it in here. Now we will need to go to Resolve to activate it. We can do this by heading to the Preferences tab and clicking on Video Plugins. You can hit the check mark and then click Save. You will then need to restart Resolve for the effect to show up. Now that you have installed the plugin and restarted DaVinci, we can go into Fusion and hit Shift Space. This will bring up the search menu and you can search for the NTSC-RS and there you have it. All the options should work and the plugin shouldn't lag you like many other plugins do. It is more realistic compared to using a VHS overlay, so have fun and play around with it. Now, I'll quickly show you how to install this inside of After Effects. For anybody who uses After Effects, you will know that there's a plugin called Signal, but that is a paid plugin, and this plugin produces similar results because it's based on an algorithm that is very similar while also being free. So once again, head over to this GitHub page and download the After Effects version. You will then want to put the folder inside of the location in your file explorer. I will put it on screen now. Once you do that, restart your After Effects and you can add the plugin as you do with any others. If you're looking for a standalone version, don't worry. NTSC RS also has one. Just go back to the GitHub page and look for the standalone download option. After you download it and run the EXE, you can then import your video and play around with the settings. You can also add presets to this version. If you go to this page, you can download a preset pack made by some members of the community, and I will leave the link to this page in the description below. Then you will need to open the software and place all the files that are inside the presets folder that you have downloaded into the correct folder. After that, you can simply select the one that you want on the bottom left. If you want to preview the before and after, there are also a few options at the bottom right to do so. I also like to click scale down footage as it gives a look that I like to go for. This version of the software is also a great option if you want to add this effect without using an editing software and then you want to use a preset and import it back into your editing software of choice. And there you have it, a free VHS emulator all for free. If you found this video helpful, please consider liking this video. And if you want to see more tutorials from me, subscribe to the channel. It helps me out a lot. Drop a comment down below if you have any questions or use this effect in any of your projects. I would love to see them. Have fun. Peace.